Hello everybody. Welcome back to the All About Favor channel. I am your host, Pastor Casey. I'd like to start off today with giving you an encouraging word and to remind you that sometime in this journey called life, you'll have ups and downs, but trust the process, trust the Most High God, keep a measure of faith and believe that things are gonna turn around and get better for you. You gonna come out on the other side. Just don't give up hope. Now, today I wanna to talk about your assignment. Your assignment. See, the Most High God already has a specific thing that you were put on this earth to complete, and that is an assignment. Always remember that you have to understand what your assignment is and walk in that. You cannot fulfill someone else's purpose or assignment. There's so many people out there imitating and duplicating, trying to be someone else instead of just being who you were designed to be and fulfilling what your calling is and what your assignment is. I like to tell people and use the illustration, Paul couldn't complete what Peter was put here to do and vice versa. So you can cannot complete someone else's assignment. Everybody is supposed to do something. It doesn't matter what it may be. Even if you think it's minute and small and does not matter, maybe your assignment is to, to do, have a helping hand ministry in that you help prepare meals for other people or you have a clothing drive. Whatever it is you were assigned to do, you've got to pray about it and ask the Most High God, what is it? What is my assignment? Be very clear on one thing. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Don't get out there and get out of position and playing someone else's role and trying to be someone else. Stay in your lane and just start praying what it is you are assigned to do. And remember something very important. Assignments do have a ceiling, do have a ceiling. Sometimes you can't reach that ceiling if you don't know how to get there. So that's going to require time for you to study, time for you to research, maybe re-educate yourself on something. And also assignments do have time limits on them. You can wait too long and miss your moment. I'm saying this to somebody today, don't miss your moment. <clears throat> because some people, let me say this, you try to over-spiritualize things and you always like, I'm waiting on the Lord to show me. I'm just praying about it. Do you not realize that maybe he's already shown you and you refuse to pick up the mantle and go forth with what you are assigned to do? Some of you still sitting around waiting on signs and waiting to see this and that when he's already given you all of the signs you need. All of the confirmation has literally hit you in the head and you have not gotten up to start your assignment. So be careful that you don't waste precious time. Y'all life is too short to be sitting around wasting time. Sometimes the assignment might not make any sense to you and it certainly might not make any sense to someone else but trust the process and that's when you really have to trust God on that. When the Lord, this just don't make no sense. You sure this is what I'm supposed to be doing? You sure this is where I'm supposed to go? Yes, you got to trust the, the process. Now, another thing with your assignment, you've got to be able to walk in obedience. Sometimes your assignment comes with you having to do some things you really don't want to do. Comes with times when you have to move on from some things that you've been doing or some situations you're in or even some people. But you have to be obedient and trust God with this assignment. There's a task, there's a job, there's a mission of, of with the assignment. That is what an assignment is. You have a mission, you have a job to complete, you have a task to complete, and it is only appointed to you. Now, part of your assignment might require you to do something very difficult. It might require you to do something hard because I'm not saying this is an easy task, especially when you have to start doing the pruning and doing the cutting away of things. But it means in order for you to get to where you're supposed to get to, you've got to understand your assignment. You've got to look inside yourself 
And you know what? It's very important, y'all, that you have self-awareness. Some people running around, they don't have any self-awareness. They're just running all over the place, which says they have no focus. You must get focused. You've got to learn how to be still, get in a quiet place and meditate and pray. And you may even have to fast on this one. But in order to fulfill your assignment, you've got to have peace of mind. And that is very important that you have peace and also be willing to make changes and saying no it is so powerful sometimes you just got to say no sometimes you have to make hard choices in life in order to get to where you're supposed to be on this journey but if you don't make the hard choices you're going to remain stuck and you're not going to complete your assignment you think about that and don't forget Always, if nothing else, get balanced, get focused, and no matter what goes on in your life, protect your peace at all costs. If anything or anyone is disturbing your peace or your spirit feel vexed about something, you are usually right on it. Your intuition, your spirit of discernment is letting you know you don't have peace about this. Think about it. Y'all be well. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.